Welcome back to another edition of Babyface Brew Review. My name is Alex. I'm your host guide, walking you guys and gals through this review for the next couple minutes today. Super stoked as always to join you, um, but more importantly, very fired up to be here because uh, there's an alert going out and Georgetown Brewing Company out of Seattle, Washington here is canning beer, which is awesome. Um, if you're not familiar with Georgetown, you're from another part of the uh, country, another region. Georgetown makes some killer stuff. Their uh, their staple beer is uh, Manny's, which has been uh, an on-draft release, so actually not even canning that. Uh, just a very solid unfiltered pale ale, but we're talking about Bodhi Safa today. This is an IPA that won the uh, Gold American uh, Gold at the uh, Great American Beer Festival uh, in Denver, I believe, uh, last year uh, for Best IPA, which is pretty Pretty awesome accolade. I'm not sure, you know, if there was Treehouse and, and other, um, you know, brewers that entered in that competition, but regardless of that, that is an honor um, that is definitely worth talking about. So, getting into the beer, it clocks in at 6.9% alcohol by volume. Untapped says that it's at 60 IBUs, but if you go to the Georgetown website, they uh, they tell you otherwise. They'll tell, they're telling you 80 IBUs, so we're going to go off of that. Um, getting into the accolades there, uh, Beer Advocate has it at a 90, which puts it in that uh, outstanding category, which is some good stuff. Uh, from the 9,000 uh, ratings on Untapped, on, excuse me, you're looking at about 4.02 uh, caps. So some really good stuff going on there. In regards to the beer itself, they're utilizing Chinook, Citra, Mosaic, and Columbus hops. Uh, for malt profile, they're using Two Row Pale Munich, and they're also using oats as well to kind of uh, liven up that body a little bit, give it a little creaminess. So just really good stuff. I've had this before. I thoroughly enjoyed it, but now I get to review it with you guys, which makes me even more stoked um, because they're canning now uh, Georgetown they're also canning their Lucille IPA which is excellent excellent offering and then Rogers Pilsner along with this so let's crack the cap on this and and see what's going on with the canned release of Bodhisattva very very super fresh today's date is the um, uh, the 13th excuse me uh, this was canned on the 1st of June so you know just under two weeks old you really can't get too fresher than that I can smell this from back here already. It smells beautiful. It really does. This beer is a, a, a treat to have. And now um, that it's available in six packs is awesome. Uh, about nine ninety nine, which is not bad for almost a 7% beer. So as so we can see, there's some mild uh, haziness to this one. Not completely filtered. Uh, pretty active carbonation streaming up from the bottom. And now this is a nucleated glass. So we will get some active, lively carbonation due to um, the nucleated bottom there. Uh, it, as we're looking at it, it's a beautiful, beautiful head. Two and a half uh, fingers worth. Very, very tightly compact towards the bottom of the beer. And then soap sudsy at the top. Pouring uh, a very white colored, maybe just off-white eggshell in complexion, but really, really nice. If we swirl it around, we'll see if we get some glass lacing. I'm sure we will out of a Georgetown beer. Yeah, we're getting some sticky glass lacing out of that. Very, very nice looking beer. All right, let's dive into the aroma because I can tell you it's permeating out of this bad boy. Oh, yeah, just big resinous hop notes. Very fruity. Um, grapefruit, uh, a grapefruit rind, orange peel, zest getting tangerine notes, some nice pininess out of this bad boy, getting a little bit of a bready sweetness as well, almost a, yeah, got a kiss of that, that pale malt sweetness, wow, very fruity, just resinous, big citrus, piney notes, just everything you kind of come to expect in a West Coast IPA. Maybe a touch of lemon and lime almost, this tropical thing going on. Really nice stuff. All right, guys and gals, uh, my mouth is watering. Cheers, bro, so whatever you want to call it. Let's dive into the Bodhisattva IPA by Georgetown Brewing Company, Seattle, Washington. Oh, yeah. Killer glass lacing, just just as we come to expect up front. Um, just a nice onslaught of hops, just resinous hops, following the nose, big grapefruit rind, orange peel, tangerine, getting a lemon-lime-like quality out of this as well. Um, in the middle of the mouth, just perfectly balanced, that nice... 
that pale malt, the oats kind of really come together um, in the sweetness to balance out and drive um, this beer into the back end where it becomes like a big pine, um, kind of like a pithy bitterness almost, but it's not overwhelming. It's not coating the palate. It's really, really well done. Uh, it really is. It's, it's, it's fantastic. It kind of comes in um, this big hot bomb up front with that resinous element. Then you get the middle of the mouth with the nice sweetness from the malt and the oats making it really smooth and creamy. And then you get a little bit of a nice... Um, piney pithiness and it's just bone dry beautiful bone dry finish to really uh, round out this beer obviously i got into that mouthfeel already a little bit and we'll dive into it here but uh, very very smooth very balanced creamy in complexion um in in texture excuse me i would say probably medium you know just a touch on the lighter side of a medium mouthfeel but just phenomenal um really really clean the malt holds up beautifully to the hop show that's going on um, just a perfect example of a West Coast um, IPA. It really is. It's it's phenomenal. Uh, it, the bone dry finish is, is beautiful. And look at that glass lacing. It's killer. So, uh, as you can tell, I'm fired up about this beer. And it's, you know, I'm not trying to be biased. It's my hometown. Um, but Georgetown just, they, they do a great job of brewing a great beer. It's really well crafted. Uh, for this, I'm going to go... The drinkability is off the chart too. It is so drinkable and so flavorful, and it's clean. You just you you want to go back for another sip because it's not. Um, you're not getting. You know, I'm sure you drink a few of these. You get some palate fatigue, but it's. Um, God, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go 94, 95. I'm gonna go 90. I'm gonna go 95. What the hell? It's an A. It's a solid, solid, solid beer. So an A from me, 95. But that's not what matters. What matters is what you guys and gals think. So you can let me know by leaving that all in the comment section below. Please let's go back and forth on the jargon here. Let's keep the dialogue growing on the Bodhisattva by Georgetown Brewing Company. Um, and like always, appreciate each and every one of you. So thank you so much for liking and subscribing. We will see you all next time on Babyface Brew Review. Cheers, Prost. Thank you so much for stopping by.